Hello traders, Douglas here. Today we are going to be looking at the TTW Trade Finder volume stops and review August 18th and see how maybe you could have used this indicator to uh, help you with this market, okay? So I've been using uh, this indicator to eliminate a lot of decisions to um, dial down the amount of processing power that you need, which will drain you and cause you to make lots of mistakes. And uh, we're gonna be comparing that to the one minute uh, chart. I'll be showing you that on NinjaTrader as we go. So uh, we start out uh, recording eh, a little after, what is this, 8.35. Uh, market comes down, we run through a selection of uh, these are dynamic buy icebergs. This little color here is for buy ice. And so you get some buy icebergs in there. They're not huge, but they're there. And then you get these two white squares. That's the volume stops that indicate the market might be exhausted in this direction and might go back that direction. That's exactly what happens. Uh, but it would have been pretty difficult uh, to take that. As you see, you know, the market has been up and down, okay? So it's not like we're in a, a massive downswing here. Uh, but for the short term, we are in a pretty steep downtrend. And nine o'clock's right here. Now lately, nine o'clock has been a volatile little time and uh, the market tends to uh, do some wonky things once nine comes in. So if you're being super aggressive because of those buy uh, icebergs, you could have got in there. I think that's pretty darn aggressive. I think your chance for getting run over there is pretty steep, uh, especially after like a short pullback. You know, maybe that would have been a good zone to take a small scalp or something. But it does work in this situation. Um, comes back up to 922-ish, and you don't get any volume stops or anything there. Comes back down to 930. You hit this zone of uh, dynamic sell icebergs. They immediately get beat. We come up here, here you go, here's your volume stop. That's a pretty big one. That's a real big one actually at uh, 2,591. Typically they're more in this thousand range. Uh, so you hit that there. So hey, we will be looking for a potential short here. Where did that happen? 940 and then immediately about 944 you get a buy stop. So now things get tricky. So let's take a look at 940 on that big spike up and a run like that uh, you you know a lot of times that's a stop run and then and that'll fail so if you go short here and uh, and get stopped out or something don't feel bad about it you're gonna lose you know you can't win every trade and as long as you're sticking with your plan it is not a bad trade even if you lose okay because that's part of trading like losing should be in your plan sort of as weird as that sounds um, if it's not um, and of course, uh, I tell you my struggles all the time, but uh, it's, it is difficult for me to lose any trade, which is stupid because you lose all the time because you, I mean, you just have to as part of trading. So you've got to put that sort of in your plan, like uh, I'm buying information here. So if I lose whatever, I just paid for some information. That's kind of the way that you have to look at it. All right, so let's go over here, 940. Where is 940? What happened here? Ah. So you get this big spike here. If you wanna go short there, be my guest. But um, I've got the 9 EMA, the 50 EMA, and the VWAP from the open. Uh, this is kind of the stuff that I like to use to get my head on straight of what direction we're kind of going. Uh, nine for the short term, 50 for the longer pullbacks, and VWAP just because VWAP seems to get some action, right? Um, for the really big pullbacks, really. Uh, and so this is actually pretty classic for a 9 EMA play. All right, you get this spike up, you're far away from the 90 EMA, and then you just kind of slowly trickle over to it, and once you get to about the nine, uh, and then you continue on, okay? So uh, this is pretty common uh, if you're playing the nines to see something like that, okay? And so you could have, uh, I, this is best skipped, of course, and then you've got this big zone of uh, liquidity right here. That's with this strong, um, color is here and then this is about when it hits the nines okay so maybe you would have got in here um but you know this is the target that you're looking at maybe to hide behind that's not very far that's not very many ticks so you're still uh, protecting yourself pretty well and then you get the run up okay so that's a potential uh, thing that you could have played there although it seems pretty choppy through here so if you skipped all of that uh, don't feel bad about it uh, and then we come back to 1006 i think is the next time 
that something happens. Yes. Okay, so you get this here. That is at 10.03 and then 10.06 basically right there. So 10.03. Okay, so maybe if you were being aggressive, you went long here right off the VWAP, got stopped out, but then you get another chance, and then, I mean, come on, you make up for it. So like I said, sometimes you have to buy information, sometimes you got to pay for information, uh, but that's a great spot. Like, uh, it's okay, you know, we saw those volume stops back here, and then it did move up and all this, so... Uh, we tend to see have traders be like, oh, I left all this money on the table. You know, I should have got more aggressive. But then, then when you do, then you just get run over is what happens, right, when you get into that mindset. So it's okay to start, uh, you know, well, it's not okay. It's necessary. It's completely necessary to wait for your spot. All right. So and this was like naked no man's land. And then everything's chopping around. But then you get a nice... VWAP play. I mean, it's really, you can't get much better than a pullback to the VWAP with the signals that you're looking for. All right. And then if that's the only thing you'd waited on, uh, because uh, something that I try to tell myself all the time is I'm not a trader, right? I'm an investor, right? I'm not here to trade, really. People get bored. They want to make trades. You're just playing games at that point. And you're going to lose. All right. So you got to get more of the mindset. I'm an investor. Where am I looking to invest? And investors are patient. They find their spots, and this is not easy, you know, thing to do. It's a psychological game. But um, if you only make one investment that pays off like that, uh, that's much better than taking multiple trades that give you heart attacks and you eke out a penny here, or you get crushed and lose big, and then you've got to, you know, then you get nervous because you're down, and then when you get a perfect setup like that, then you don't pull the trigger, right? These are all the games that happen in our head in trading. Okay, so uh, remember, try to invest, uh, try not to trade. It's just a little mindset game. Let's go up here. Uh, here's a really interesting spot. I love this spot. Uh, you can't, you just get somebody just piling in all of these little icebergs. None of them are huge. You just, just peppering in icebergs right here and, uh, and immediately loses. So uh, too bad, so sad for that guy. Um, unless he was exiting a position or something, which is possible. And then you get this run here. So where do these guys pop in? These guys pop in at 11.20, 11.20 into a nice zone of liquidity. You get absolutely no action to the top side. So hopefully you didn't take that long. Where was this? You're fighting through here. Yeah. Not a great place. Uh, when you're grinding down like this, um, you're not looking for big pops. When you're grinding down, you've got to start getting real cautious that you're about to get a break in the direction that it's grinding. Um, and that's kind of what's happening here. I mean, you get this guy here at 1113. If you're playing candlesticks, that might have uh, messed you up. Where's 1113? Oh, that's back here. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. So a book map gives you multiple things to see. One, you've got the liquidity up here and you've got the liquidity down here, okay? Both of those are not in this zone. It hasn't met it to the top side, it hasn't met it to the bottom side. There are no other signals in here. So uh, even though this comes back to my 50 EMA, which is where I like to, uh, where I like to look to take long, it didn't give me anything, all right? Now, if it did and I got beat, then whatever but it didn't give me anything there. It gives me after it breaks down, after the grind. And um, let's look at this one more time, 1121-ish. Yeah, I mean, you're basically, you're not going long into this. So, <laughs> so, uh, so that's fine. Those guys are fine. You're not going long into those. Uh, let's go 1145. Is there a last recording? Let's see what happens at 1145. Ooh. That's an aggressive one. However, let's see. It is, yeah, I mean, you're into this area here. So that's pretty darn aggressive. You had a nice big breakdown. Hopefully, maybe you caught some of that run. You don't need this run. Um, but 
I'm not saying you would catch that one and go long. That might be best avoided. And then maybe looking for another one to happen or some icebergs or something after it starts moving up. You know, this could just be your uh, signal that maybe it's time to not look short immediately and then you're looking for that next long signal. Okay, and that's exactly what happens. I mean, if you got long there, I mean, congratulations. And if you had the uh, <laughs> the huevos to hold that all the way through, which you probably don't, um, congratulations on that too. But so that's the way things go. Remember, pick your spots. Uh, these things are not golden tickets. They are just extremely helpful. Right? Right. All right. Peace out.